Good afternoon, this is YouTube Breaking News with your girl Charlotte Carolina, and I would like to say we have a knife man. Not a gunman, but a knife man. Loose on London Bridge. He was just shot. He should have brought gunman with him. Then maybe gunman could have shot the knife man and helped the knife man shoot the police. But It kind of leads into when you hear them say, okay, in the middle they say, well, why are people so nonchalant walking around like ain't nobody being shot and stabbed in the vicinity of them? Because, for one, it looked fake because dude was doing the basketball walk away. You know how they, they jump down the court real funny like? You'll see him run and I'll point it out in the footage. Um, but in London, they have a lot of stabbings because they don't, they don't have guns over there. You know, they don't do the gun thing. They don't bang, bang. They stab, stab, poke, poke. So, and everybody has a knife in the kitchen. So what do you do? You, you say, hey, well, all butter knives are banned. Can't have a butter knife in school. Can't cut no butter. Can't do nothing. No bread knife. Knives are like guns over there. Just dangerous. But this was terrorist act where we stabbing people. Now how twelve people get injured over one life? Did he throw it and it ricocheted and hit eleven other people? The fuck? This kinda sound like a little fake news if you watch these video clips, but let's roll some of these clips and get back to me on that situation. Look how they casually running down the street, y'all. And I hate these clips that they repeat over and over again to make a full video. There's still only a minute, so uh Look at him calling them. See, that's that nigga that was doing the basketball jog like he done made the three point and want to back off soon. <laughs> What the hell y'all streaming for? None of y'all got shot. Oh, my God. 
look out, Billy. Get him, get him, get him, get out of the motherfucking ground. Oh, going down. Oh, and there's a helicopter up at the top. There's a helicopter at the top yeah. as well. Well, it is not a bird, it's not a plane, it's oh, not a good plane. It is not a good plane. Nice man. There's a helicopter up there, I see. There's a helicopter up there, Let's go, please come in. Uh huh. Whistling Billy Jean and people getting shot. I mean, excuse me, stabbed. Multiple people by one person. We believe that it may have involved uh, a knife that uh, people were attacked with a knife on London Bridge. Now, the very latest information I'm getting on this is that uh, armed police officers have shot a suspect that suspect you understand is dead um the, this is a very early stages of an incident that is unfolding you know we're actually heading to the scene ourselves uh just very shortly uh but uh the latest information that we got is that this incident happened on london bridge that uh, an attacker uh with armed we believe with a knife uh started attacking people that armed police were deployed and that that uh, attacker, alleged attacker, has now been shot. And the information that we're getting through from sources is that he was fatally shot. We are following breaking news out of London this hour. London Ambulance Service declaring a major incident on London Bridge. Police believe a number of people have been... I've got a question. What was he fatally shot if he was already detained? If he, if he was wrestled to the ground by some bystanders, why did they have to shoot him? Why didn't the police just come up and arrest him? I was confused on that part. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. Driven a stabbing. Police also say a man has been detained. London Bridge is currently shut down. Nearby railway stations also on lockdown. Shopping areas have been cordoned off and doors closed. Let's go back to CNN's Max Foster, who is gathering information about what's happening there. We still see a very large police presence on the scene. Max, what have you learned? We do. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has just said uh, that he's been kept updated on the incident at London Bridge. That was just a few minutes ago. So this is clearly not over. It's a very serious incident indeed, a major incident according to the ambulance service. And certainly in terms of the police response, what we're seeing on the streets there is a very major response. So when I last spoke to the anti-terror police in London, uh, they very much took the view that uh, they're, they're, not, they're going to err on the side of caution. So if they have an incident like this, they're going to they'd rather overreact than underreact. Uh, so waiting to see what comes out of the, this, but the pure fact that we're not getting much information does suggest it's an ongoing incident. We're also asking, uh, the, the, the Met Police are also appealing really to people to be careful what they share on social media. There are some pretty gruesome images going around, but they also don't want that to compromise their investigation either. Um, at the last incident, uh, Anna, we were talking about that earlier, how we covered that a couple of years ago. Uh, it got to a certain point where the Home Secretary uh, brought in the elite forces, the SAS. They came in in a helicopter, you might remember, onto London Bridge. We haven't seen that quite yet, but it's a much more difficult situation because that was early in the morning. The roads are clearer. What we have here is still many buses still trapped on the bridge. So whilst they evacuate the entire area, you can see that going on on screen so now, uh, the police thing. are trying to lock down the individual sites wherever they're investigating. There's clearly something ongoing. We heard earlier from a BBC reporter that he clearly heard gunshots. We don't know whether they were the perpetrators or the police responding to the perpetrators. All we know is that a stabbing uh, is the incident that they are investigating currently and there's been a big rise 
in knife crime. It's been a big story here in London in recent months. So it plays into that uh, wider debate. And, and on that, Max, is that knife crime, has it been in the past connected to any kind of terror tactic or strategy, or is it just random? Um, uh, as the terror attacks have continued, they've actually become more rudimentary and knives have become a bigger part of it. We don't have a gun culture in this country. Uh, the police don't. Uh, the, 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 the police on the beat around London don't carry guns with them. It's very hard to bring guns in. So a lot of um, gangs and a lot of terror groups have been looking to knives as the weapon of choice. And we've seen how it can cause terrible damage here in London and other parts of Europe. But that's why we see knives as a major threat. And the mayor of London, who's also being kept abreast of uh, the situation currently, he's campaigned heavily on the problem of knife crime. And of course, it's very, very difficult uh, to police. We all have knives in our homes. So that's certainly something they're looking at currently and how they can uh, restrict the presence of knives on the London streets. Max, were there any changes or alterations made to security at London Bridge following that attack that happened back in 2017? Uh, one of the major things that they did, uh, because a vehicle was involved and they've been involved in other um, uh, bridge attacks here in London, uh, they put these big concrete bollards on the bridges to prevent cars from driving down the pavements. Uh, we don't know if a car was involved in this, but it, it suggests that a car wasn't involved because it's very difficult to get a car careering down the bridge anymore. Uh, traffic is very much restricted to the traffic lanes on the bridges. And it would have been very slow moving on the bridge at that time. Very busy time for traffic in London. Famously busy on a Friday afternoon when people are heading home uh, from work early. They're heading off to Borough Market nearby, for example, having some drinks. But also, whilst this is a financial district, it's right on the edge of it and uh, very close to a lot of the tourist sites. So there would have been tourists walking along the bridge as well as they came in for a weekend of uh, tourism. So uh, very concerning people for tourists, a uh, moment for right. tourists, but also Londoners today. Max, we don't have a lot of confirmed information, obviously, only that there was a stabbing, that somebody was detained, that there were multiple people injured. What we can see with our own eyes, though, as we look at live pictures, is there is a heavy presence, emergency officials, police responding here. But what's also interesting as we look at this video is there are people that seem to be passerbys just walking in front of the camera in between you know, our, our video crews as well as the police officers. They aren't running. There doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency with the people in that surrounding area. What does that tell you? It tells you possibly could be fake news, what I'm just saying. Well, it tells us that the police responded very quickly and cleared people out of the area. I have to say, a lot of the stuff we've seen on social media, a lot of it from journalists that I know as well, uh, didn't describe a calm situation in the immediate aftermath of this incident. They talked about people being rushed off the bridge, people running out of pubs. So I think that the police have effectively locked down the area, and now they're trying to get to the cause of the threat and there currently is an ongoing threat. Otherwise, they would be tweeting that, uh, you know, we're in control of the situation and things need to calm down. Because they're very concerned, the police, about how this is portrayed in the media, in the UK, but also in the wider world. Uh, they don't want these images going around the world because it obviously puts people off from coming to London. But they're aware of it and they feel that in the for the safety of the people of London, uh, this is a price they're willing to pay. So there's clearly an ongoing threat that they're very concerned about. Okay, Max Foster, please stand by. I want to bring in Paul Crookshank. And Paul, this is obviously an ongoing incident. It is not over. What stands out to you? Yeah, the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, describing it as an ongoing incident suggests police are not confident that this is contained, that this is over yet. Uh, so a lot of concern uh, at this hour, uh, hearing reports about uh, stabbings. Uh, that is a tactic which has been used in ISIS-inspired attacks uh, in the West uh, in uh, recent years. Uh, but there's also a lot of knife crime uh, in London, in, in the UK. Uh, and so at this point, uh, there are uh, no specific indications that this is a terrorist uh, attack. But obviously, uh, we're in the very, very early stages of an investigation. Uh, and they'll be looking at all possible uh, scenarios here, uh, police. Uh, but this comes at a time in the UK where UK security services actually downgraded the terror threat level uh, in the country from severe to substantial. That happened several weeks ago. That meant they thought an attack wasn't very likely anymore, but now likely. So they were still uh, on alert, still looking uh, for the potential that there could be 
uh, terrorist plots and uh, uh, attacks uh, in the UK. Um, in 2017, in the month of June, there was a major terrorist attack in this very area, London Bridge, Borough Market. Um, eight people were killed. That was a car, uh, a knife uh, attack uh, in, in, in that instance. There were three attackers. Not clear in this instance uh, whether there was just one attacker, whether there were multiple attackers, uh, or whether this was a terrorist incident at this point. Authorities have not yet declared that to, to be uh, the case. Okay, Paul Kirkshank, CNN's terrorism analyst, thank you for that. I do have some new information that Metropolitan Police just tweeting this moments ago. At this stage, the circumstances relating to the incident at London Bridge remain unclear. However, as a precaution, we are currently responding to this incident as though it is terror-related. Also, one man has been shot by police. We provide further information when possible. That is the latest word now from Metropolitan Police in London as they continue to respond to an incident at London Bridge. Earlier, they tweeted that somebody was involved in a stabbing and that there were multiple injuries. We're going to continue to stay on top of this story and bring you more information as we come back. Stay with us. The London Bridge is stabbing now. Get it? London Bridge is falling. Okay. You can like, comment, subscribe. You know what it is. It's your boy, Saddam J. Girl, Shadow Carolina. And you know my slogan on plays on these hoes. Like, you know. Ooh. You dig? 